Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending April 18th, 2020, and I don't think it'll be a surprise to say that much of our news this week uh, features COVID-19, particularly the fact that Anime Expo 2020 has officially been cancelled. There was a statement from Ray Chang, CEO of the Society for the Promotion of Japanese uh, Animation, um, who wrote that um, while the situation is continually changing, as well as more restrictions in place worldwide and in Los Angeles, uh, we can't in good faith move forward with this year's event. They have said that those who have already pre-purchased badges can either get a refund or can just uh, push that forward to next year's event. So they can just, um, you know, that, that will effectively convert to a 2021 badge, um, which is, uh, that is planned for July 2nd through 5th of next year, 2021. Um, obviously, it'll take a little while to process those and get all that um, working. Um, and they said any um, hotel rooms will be automatically canceled, um, but um, um, or any hotel rooms booked th you know, through the whole Anime Expo process will be canceled. If you got outside hotel rooms, you'll have to figure that out yourself, obviously. But that is that. Um, and that's not the only uh, cancellation, which perhaps should not be a surprise. Um, San Diego Comic-Con was officially canceled this week, which is a pretty darn big deal. Um, California Governor Gavin Newsom uh, made some statements about the coronavirus, and um, yeah, that was originally scheduled for July 23rd to 26th, and that is now done. Um, and same with AX, you can either cancel your badge or get it uh, converted through for next year, uh, July 22nd to 25th, 2021. Um, and this also affects Comic-Con's renovation of Balboa Park's federal, federal building um, for the Comic-Con Museum in summer 2021. Um, and so they're, gonna, they're, they're planning to basically change around that whole construction uh, operation. Um, but they, they plan it's still going to be the same experience. They just got to kind of rejigger things. So hopefully all that will work. Um, but yeah, pretty um, a lot of stuff going on, uh, a lot of stuff canceled. So stay safe. Um, one thing um, that's uh, not canceled but delayed is the uh, next Evangelion film, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. Um, the official website announced on Friday that uh, the new film is delayed due to concerns about the coronavirus. Um, originally going to open June 27th, so that's been pushed back. We don't have a new release date yet. However, they did reveal this new visual right here, which is a new poster. And yes, the text in the middle is... Bye bye all of Evangelion. While um, below the the title is Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. Thrice upon a time. That is the the official title for for that. So, FYI, um, lovely visual there though the the train tracks and that, that's Shinji in the in the in the back by the way in case you're wondering. Uh, at least it looks like Shinji from what I can tell on the poster. But uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Um, so yeah, sad, um, for, at least just a, a delay, not canceled, just delayed, pushed off a little bit, and let's be honest, we've been waiting for these Evangelion films for forever, we can wait a little while longer. Um, not delayed, not canceled, Masaki Yuasa's new film Japan Sinks, I'm sorry, new series Japan Sinks, will be showing at Annecy, which is a big animation festival in France. Um... Uh, this is an adaptation of uh, uh, Sakyo Komatsu's novel, Japan Sinks, which was a famous disaster uh, book. You know, fault lines appear in Japan sinks. The spoilers um, is the basic plot of that. And there have been several different um, big budget uh, live action adaptations of that over the course of the years. Um, it's sort of a Titanic kind of a um, thing where you get a different adaptation every so often. And so Masaki Yuasa is doing a, an anime TV series of that. And it will be showing it um, Annecy in the TV films category, uh, along with this uh, new visual was also uh, revealed. So uh, that's pretty exciting to see anime competing at Annecy for awards. Moving on, um, some good news. Adult Swim has announced that Paranoia Agent will be returning to its lineup, where it will be replacing Food Wars. Now, this concerned a few folks, saying Food Wars is going away and Paranoia Agent is coming in. Uh, the issue is that um, uh, Adult Swim's license of Food Wars only covers up through what they've shown so far. 
So once they hit, um, I guess, April 17th, um, or get, which was, I guess, was yesterday. Um, no, today, April 18th, that's right. So once they finish today's episode, that's all the stuff they've licensed, so they need to kind of re-license and get, get, scheduled, or get licensed scheduled for uh, later seasons of Food Wars. So Paranoid Agent is moving in in the meantime. Um, this, of course, uh, Paranoia Agent being the one and only anime TV series from Satoshi Kon, um, a legendary, uh, a mostly anime film director, and a very interesting psychological horror thriller kind of uh, an anime series, um, which you can now see on Adult Swim, which is really, really cool, um, starting next week. Um, finally, not canceled, not delayed, uh, there was a trailer dropped today, uh, I guess really a video dropped today, uh, with a crossover between Ghost in the Shell and Ultraman. That's right. Um, the upcoming Ghost in the Shell CGI series um, um, has a video where, which also shows Ultraman um, uh, stuff. And to be clear, the directors, the two main directors of Ghost in the Shell... Um, or the new Ghost in the Shell stuff, um, also worked on the Ultraman series. So there's, they basically did a video where they threw a bunch of assets together. It's not really a crossover event. They're not doing a movie or anything. They just did a video where they showed some clips from both of those and added some dialogue and so forth. So it's a fun, ridiculous thing to see, you know, Ultraman characters and then Ghost in the Shell characters and, you know, Major Kusanagi and Bato, you know, yelling at each other. Um, very odd, but uh, yes, that is a, that is a thing that um, exists, and it ends with a big Netflix logo because, of course, Netflix. So yeah, that is um, that is a thing, and yes, the, uh, the Ultraman um, does have very much a, an Iron uh, Iron Man vibe in the new CGI series, from what I've seen. So uh, yes, if you're interested in that crossover, because who wouldn't be? Um, check that out online. You can hit, you can see the clip on YouTube. It's um, uh, not hard to to discover. So yes, I guess those two worlds can coexist as well. And if those two worlds can coexist, then uh, there's hope for us all, I think. So thank you all very much. That is the news for this week. I hope, hope to see you guys around. See you next time.